Hey guys, what's up? It's Crispy playing Ocarina of Time. And today we are going to Kakariko Village. We're going to discover what there is to discover. Know and love one another, each and every one. Because it's time. Oh, it's almost sunset already. Jeez. Never going to get nothing done in these towns if it keeps becoming nighttime. Can I catch it at twilight? Because sometimes you can catch it like right before the sun goes down. And the music doesn't play, but it's still like cool inside. Yeah, see? We caught it at sunset. The music isn't going on and people are still awake. So that's cool. The sunset always looks neat. Ding dong. Oh, you're you're functioning as a statue. Good job, buddy. 1723. So the tenant of the Great Empa opened this village to com the common people. Well, that was nice of her. It'll be as lively as Hyrule Castle Town. Oh, no, it won't. I, I know your future, guy. The Death Mountain. Okay. But you need the king's permission to actually go up the mountain. Well, that's pretty rude, I gotta say. I'm uh, not a fan of that tradition. Whoa, go the chicken, 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 go the chicken. Throw the chicken. Right at your fucking laughing face, guy. Look at this chicken bounce around. Amazing. <laughs> Boss of the carpenters. Okay, cool. Don't have any ambition. Kinda, I mean. I'm mean, like, I, I know that I don't have a lot of ambition. I know that I'm just about, you know, getting more money. More money, more problems. Except that's not true. That's just what they want you to think. They're all worthless, I tell you. You're rude. Now, I don't really need any money anymore. What I do need is a reason. A reason to fight. So what I'm looking for is the Kukos lady. Because she's going to be our main squeeze right now. What should I do? Oh my Kukos are flown away! Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna go find him for you, don't worry. Go we'll find him, bring him back to the pen. There's one right there. There you go, you're welcome. I did it. But that's not all of them, so we gotta keep finding more. Oh my god. I don't remember how many there are total. And I honestly don't remember where all of them are. I know there's this one right here. And I can use this one to get to another. I'll use you to get over here. There we go. I'll throw you off the cliff. Grab you. Get in the pen. The Kuko gathering is a little annoying. I, uh, I understand. I feel your collective pain by watching me grab these annoying birds and hurl them into the abyss that is the Kuko pen. But there's a good reason. There's not a lot of side quests I'm going to do for this run because this isn't was never going to be a 100% run. No way. 100% runs take a million years because there's a lot of shit to find in Zelda games. But it's going to be enough of a run that it's convenient for me to win the game. You know what I mean? Like, I want my items of convenience. If I remember right, so I can use this guy. If I get the angle correct, to go over here. Up, uh, yep, there we go. So done with you. Get back over the fence. Should be another one in here somewhere. Am I right? Yes, I am. Young man, you are going back over the fence where you belong. There we go. Anything in here? Yeah, I'll take the heart. And that should be the last one up here. So, climb the ladder up to the top of the thing. Grab the dude. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. There you go. And we'll take our slow-ass time down. Just nice and floating along through the air. This lady's probably horrified about how I'm treating her chickens. I'm just grabbing them and... Making them carry something that weighs probably 20 times more than they do. I'm like, you better learn to fly, buddy, because I need to glide around. This is the whole premise of all Zelda games. Catch Kukos, get money. Where is the last bird? Where have you run off to, bird? 
You are a very important part of my scheme. Was there a bird over here ever? I don't remember. I just hear birds clicking around me. Where are you, last bird? I need you. I know there's one more. I've run away. Please help me bring the other two. Oh, there's two more. Damn it. Where are these fucking turkeys? One of them got caught. Oh, yeah, one was right behind the well. Just keep on running. Get in the box. And the last one should be on the other side of town. Over this way. Up the stairs. Yeah. That sounds right to me. That sounds accurate. Right past this running guy. He's got his super sprint going, and I'm proud of him. You know what I mean? He's lapping me. I'm on the couch. I'm in my computer chair playing Ocarina of Time. What's he doing? Getting reps in. He's getting strong. You go, big guy. You run however you want. Meanwhile, I'm throwing this in a box to please a young lady so that she may give me an item. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. Well, that's a bummer. Fine glass and should be useful. Awesome. We get our first bottle. Very important in Zelda games. It holds shit. Usually a fairy or a potion. Sometimes other stuff. You know, and since we're on the side hunt collection marathon, we're going to go somewhere we're not supposed to be able to go yet. Well, technically we can go here, but the game doesn't recommend you go here until later. But I'm not about listening to what the game wants me to do right now. Right now, I'm really interested in a certain uh, acquisition that I can get a hold of. A certain sword. Not sword. My bad. I'm a liar. A certain song is what I meant to say. So, what I'm going to do... Whoop. Is play the wrong song is forget that you have to use Y to press up. Duh. I'm gonna play this song that was used as a lullaby for a small child for quite a long time. And it does shit like this. Like, you're gonna... Look at how creepy that looks with the twilight. That looks fucking cool. And you're just gonna let this happen? Whoa. Terrifying. No one notices. There's a small child playing in the graveyard right now. And he's like, oh, well, that's everyday, an everyday occurrence. They always blow up old man Finkelstein's headstone at the beginning of the day. It's a good time forever. Would you get in the hole? Jesus. Fall in there. <laughs> I realize you don't want to go in there, but I need you to go in there. Royal family's tomb. What's that? Oh, it's a keys. It's a bat. You know what I say? Fuck bats. Bats suck. Bats suck a lot. Bats suck enough that they like to hide. On the wall. Making you think they're innocent. But they're not. So I gotta stick out because I was like, you know what? I wanna do? Press the wrong fucking button. For a good time. Really? Stop it. Pull straight back and shoot the guy. There you go. Now you're cooking. Yeah. Wonderful. Bats destroyed. Way is open. Let's check the giant skull. Can I check it? No, I can, on I can only understand that there are bones on the ground. Like, th thanks, Navi. That's not extra creepy at all. Let's go through the door covered in, like, mysterious runic tech. What? That's a zombie. That's a zombie. Navi, would you mind scanning one of these fucking zombies? How close do I have to get? Are you kidding me? Wow video game showing no regard for my safety. 
You know what we do? We, uh, we take the damage and we run through the doom pits. Because fuck that. Hey, zombie. I'm on the other side now. What are you going to do? Other than go... Okay. Now, what is this? A poem dedicated to the dearly departed members of the royal family. A shame. Rising sun will eventually set, and newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living death. That's not even a poem. It's not an interesting poem. It's an unfinished bad poem. Something is inscribed on the tombstone. Holy shit. Secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Doo -doo -doo. Nice. It's a new song for us to learn together. Here we go. Yeah, switching from the stick to Y is very awkward. Very awkward. But, we'll, we will make do. And we learned a new song. You've learned the sun song. Cool. Now that we know it, we have to get out of here. <laughs> out of this creepy place. Restless souls that wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. Now that's a hint to use it on the Redeads, but no, <laughs> I'd rather not. I'd rather just run away from them because they are scary things. You know, can you scan one, please, Nami? Like I'm trying to learn here. Really? Oh, now it's dangerous. Now, after it freezes me in fucking place, Nami, you're an ass. Redead. This gaze will paralyze you. If it bites you, tap any button to escape. I tapped that button. It didn't do anything. But now we're just gonna keep running. Running away from you. Uh oh. Not from you, though. Oh, jeez. Thank you for the escape room. That worked. And we're out. Goodbye, everyone. You guys can stay the fuck down there. I'm running away going towards the light. That's not a metaphor, I hope. And we're out. Good. And it's nightfall now because we played the song. <laughs> we're gonna get out of this creepy-ass graveyard, but not quite. We're gonna go deeper into the creepy-ass graveyard. No, we're not. Oh, because old man's here. Can you see what I'm doing, old man? Not very well, you can't, because I just pulled this out of your way. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm spelunking. For very important secrets, like this one. Ha-ha! <laughs> New shield. Yeah, normally these are 60 bucks. But instead, I just yeah, I stole a dead guy's. You know, I, I was like, he's not gonna need it. He's dead. I'm doing the world. I'm saving the world here. You know what I mean? I need I need all the help I can get. And if a dead man's contribution will help the cause, well then God damn it, I find that sacrifice to be worth it. But real quick, we need to. Uh... Man, like I said, translating that into uh, not C it's not C buttons is interesting. There we go. Now it's daytime and we can do our assigned function. What are we doing now? We are opening the way. To the next place we actually have to go. But now I've got my shield. Oh, this shield works differently. I should show that off real quick. This shield works like this. Uh, I'm a turtle. And you just kind of turtle. You turtle it up. Because it's too heavy to use. So you're just kind of like, I'm a turtle. A big blue turtle. And that guy just runs back past you. What a jerk. All the Kukos have escaped again, but we already got your bottle, so I'm not helping you again, lady. This is your own burden to bear. You decided to become a Kuko Keeper. Cusco Keeper? Like, I don't know. You decided to do your job. So you have to be the one to keep him in there, not me. What would Saria say if we told her we're going to save Hyrule? I, you know, I don't know, but I'm not going to ask her right now, because I'm fucking busy trying to save Hyrule. Navi, God. A sense of priorities, young lady, would help you immensely. There's an item shop in there. I don't really care about it. 
What's up with you? The road is closed beyond this point. Oh, man. Can you see the sign over there? Oh, you're just a kid. You can't read yet. Oh, that's kind of rude. How about you take a look at this? Move, bitch. Yes, it is. It is Princess Zelda's handwriting. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, whatever, dude. Just let me through the world here. All your stupid buddies couldn't catch me sneaking into the castle to kill the princess. So what do you want? Who do you think you are? Big dude with a stick. Probably whoop your ass if this were a real fight. Right now. Me and my little baby prick sword. A proper shield. I have one. See? Oh yeah. They, she get, or He, they give you a discount. It's never really specified what gender these guards are. But, they're like, if you go there after talking to this person, you get like, it's like a $45 shield instead of a $60 shield. Happy Mass Shop. No, I haven't. I have not been there. Don't have time to go there. Oh man, that's a bummer. That's okay, but I have no choice. Oh, well. That's a real bummer, dude. Real sad story. Shouldn't have called me a kid. See you later. So now, Death Mountain. Death Mountain. We are on the way. Yes. Death Mountain Trail. You can see the climbables in the background. It's nice. Wonder if that wall's bombable. It's not suspicious at all. <laughs> but yeah. New bad guy. New bad guy. What's up, new bad guy? Red Tech Tight. Lock onto it as it jumps. Jump into it as it slices. I like it. Easy enough to kill. Just. Whoop. Just, uh. Don't be dumb. I have a tendency of being dumb. There we go. Took me a second. But yeah, easy enough to kill. Just don't be stupid. There it was. That was the timing. Oh, hear that? Oh, there's a gold guy in there. Only at daytime, though. So we have to wait. We don't have the necessary tools to open that door yet. Whoop. Hey. Hey. Knock it off. That was tight jumping room. Look at this weird rock. Whoa. That's not a rock. I am one of the Gorons. Oh, cool, man. Ruined a perfectly good rock is what you did. Look at it. It's got anxiety. Huge boulder over there. Once a very important place for us going. It's, oh man, that's also sad. It's too bad you guys don't make bombs or something. Oh wait, you do. Brutal and black armor uses magic to seal. Oh well, that's that's brutal. Head up to our city. Oh man, a little ways up the trail. Won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Okay, well that's what I have going for me, so that's what I'm gonna use. You go back to sleep while I hook myself up with some life. There we go. And maybe some sight, too, while I'm at it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I saw that. I see that. I see that piece of heart over there. I know your game, game. Night falls over Death Mountain. Terrifying. Look at the moon. Look how fast it's going. That's so realistic. I, I just might die. I'm going to stay to the high ground over here because there's a roly man. He cares not who he hurts. Another blow up of a wall. Oh, hey, a cliff. Interesting. Oh, hey, it's overlooking the ledge where we were. Also interesting. So, if I do this... And, oh, wait. Oh, it makes you grab it. Okay, so that has to be gone for that trick to work. All right. You can't do that quite yet. Not quite yet. So, I think that's where we're going to stop for now. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Well, I am going to enter it. We're going to go in so it knows that I'm here. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, we're going to be exploring Goron City. 
We're gonna be checking this place out, talking to the locals, finding out what we can find out. This is Crispy, Ocarina of Time, and I will see you guys next time.